Um, should we just go ahead and get into what we've been up to? Yes. Oh, sure. Sylvia, you want to go ahead? Oh, oh, when was the last time I was on? I'll pretend I did all that in a week. Uh, I bought some Transformers. <laughs> Does anyone care about the Transformers that I bought? I, I, I love Transformers. Uh, I bought Grimlock and Beast Wars Megatron. Hey, they're both pretty cool. They turn into T-Rexes. Nice. Uh, I don't have a webcam, so I can't show you. Yeah, they... um. <laughs> So one of the new lines is it's Transformers War for Cybertron, right? And it's a trilogy. It's a Netflix trilogy. And they did, um, so they they started with Siege, which all takes place on Cybertron. And then they did Earthrise, which is supposed to take place on Earth. The show absolutely doesn't. Um, <laughs> but they all have like their Earth. It's all like Toys of their Earth mode. So it's all like the G1 characters and stuff. And now they're doing Kingdom, which has a bunch of Beast Wars characters in it. So like Beast Wars Megatron's there and stuff like that. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's been fun. Uh, unfortunately, it's been hard to get stuff because scalpers will just immediately get everything. How much uh, do they go for? Or how much are they supposed to be? Um, well, let's see. Going into the store, Grimlock and Megatron, they were both like 40 bucks. Uh, they're probably like close to 60 online. Um, and that's purely because like scalpers have been inflating it. Um, I kind of honestly, a lot of times I kind of just try not to think about how much they cost. I don't really like thinking about it that much. And then I, I, then I look <laughs> yeah. over at the shelf and I see all the ones that I have and I'm like, I don't want to think about money. Is it basically um, you see like that PayPal link? You're like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but as far as games, uh, I've been playing more 14, finished the raid tier. Uh, I've unfortunately had to deal with uh, Party Finder, playing with like randoms for, for the Savage rating uh, oh, because my static disbanded uh, right before I got like the last piece of gear I need for my Samurai. So I've how had are, to deal with Party Finder for a couple weeks bad, now. How bad are randoms in 14? It's like rolling some dice. Because sometimes you'll get a party with eight people that are all competent. They all know what they're doing. And sometimes you get a party with one guy who doesn't know shit and got carried through the fight. And now now they're here in a farm party and they're, they don't know what they're doing. And a lot of times in Savage at 14... At this high level of play, there's certain mechanics where if one person messes up, it's over. You're done. You gotta start over. How big uh, are the so um how big are the raids problem. in 14? So they're eight the eight person raids, uh the savage rating. Uh is all eight person. That seems smaller than what I would so have thought um, they would have been. But I guess so it means yeah, like wow, everyone yeah. really has to pull their shit. Wow, yeah, for savage rating, people. um it's it's uh two tanks, two healers, four DPS. You're supposed to split it up so that um DPS have there's range DPS, so like your bard, machinist with like a gun, uh magic DPS, so like black mage, red mage, and then melee DPS, so like samurai, ninja, monk. Uh you're supposed to have it so that um there's one of each of those, and then one of them is doubled up. Usually it's a caster that's doubled up. Um but yeah, so it's it's eight people. As far as I understand, I haven't really touched too much um, hardcore content in WoW and, and haven't seen too much of it. In 14, there's just a lot more like personal responsibility and there's yeah. a lot more like there's a lot more riding on you to to not fuck stuff up. Wow, it's wow, it's a bit different. Raids are 36 yeah. people. Um, yeah. You have two tanks, four healers, then 30 DPS. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's it gets incredibly chaotic. Um if you get lucky and you're doing with like uh Ooh, if, if you if if you're <laughs> lucky and you're doing um and you're doing matchmaking for the raid, which is LF LFR, uh you get two tanks who are super competent who know what they're what they're doing. And they'll 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 stop before every boss and like ask if like everybody's done it. And yeah. if someone says no, they would they like will explain it or or they'll be like, "What are you like class wise?" The person says mage. They're like, "Okay, just stay far away and just yeah. fire it stuff." Or if they're if they're uh, if they're melee build, they'll like tell them what to do and like what to like dodge and everything. But if you don't, there's some leeway. Now, if yeah. one of your tanks doesn't know what they're what they're doing, it can get kind of rough. <laughs> but if like three of your DPS or like four of your DPS are yeah. like new or they just got to looking for raid level, you you should be fine because yeah, they're yeah. just DPS. They can get re revived if they yeah. truly have to. But yeah, and, um, yeah, raids and WoW are much more chaotic. In <laughs> yeah. uh, in my or experience with them, at least. Oh, you go, uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. 
Um, but yeah, in my experience with WoW raids, at least, is as long as your tanks are competent, your heal- healers are competent, you're mostly okay. Yeah. DPS yeah, just good. has to focus on not pulling ads uh, t- yeah. or, or, or taking out ads in, in the middle of a battle. Um, fucking dodge AOE attacks. Don't just stand. I don't care if you're a mage. I'm a mage. Dodge that shit. Move, move, move. Yeah. <laughs> you have a teleport. Teleport the fuck out of the way. Yeah, um, and cast. A but generally, time. but generally, just because like that higher number, there, there's definitely a lot more, um, yeah, a lot less uh, personal responsibility. But I don't, I, I don't think there, there's definitely raids that are a lot harder than others. But like, if you're playing DPS, it's relatively smooth sailing as long as you're semi competent. Uh, that's that's so probably a mean be- way to put it, but. 14, you'll That's have nice. something like, um, I don't know, E12S, right? You'll have a mechanic. It's not actually called this. This is what the community calls it. You'll have a mechanic called Lion's Rampant, right? Lion's Rampant. All eight players are going to get marked uh, on something. And they all have the responsibility to do what that mark entails. And if one person fucks it up, it's almost guaranteed to be a wipe. Oh, shit. As in the game yeah. marks you and says, like, go do X, or you know you have yeah. to do Yeah, so, like, uh, you'll have either, um, you'll be one of the four players that's tethered, in which case you have to align, you you and the other three people have to align the tethers correctly in, like, pre-marked spots, and then um, there's, like, a big fire blast from a big lion that uh, the people that aren't tethered have to bait in a specific order. So, like, mm-hmm. every everyone gets paired off, uh, and they, they all do the mechanic. Uh, and again, like, if one person messes it up, uh, it's basically gonna be a wipe. Yeah, wow I... doesn't do that. You just yeah. you just gotta say, hey, DPS, do this, take do this. All right, let's go. And it's like, hope none of us don't all die. I mean, my yeah. experience on like, because I haven't played to like any of the stuff that uh, Sylvia has. I've done. I'm in the middle of Heaven's Word, so the biggest raid that I've done, I haven't even att- attempted the. Uh, the extremes and any of that because mm. I don't I have never had a party to play with. Um I've done, you know, the Crystal Tower raid, the, yeah. the and and from my experience as lo- in Final Fantasy 14 specifically, as long as you're willing to listen, like it's it's, yeah. it's people don't you'll have people that get mad at newbies, but like as long as you're not that person who just doesn't listen and just tries to do whatever you want and like is an asshole, 9 times out of 10, even if you fuck up two or three times, like as long as you oh, yeah. at least say like <laughs> I'm sorry, I did this. What am I supposed to do? As long as you work with the people who know what they're doing, like you won't, you'll be okay. What isn't tolerated is like when people just act like complete shitheads. That's when yeah. you have people who just go fuck this and quit. What is, <clears throat> I think, in uh, uh, a very, it's, it's something that I've noticed a lot more recently in 14 as, as 14's got bigger, is there's a mentality that people have called the toxic casual, which is, uh, it's a player who is doing like, hardcore content at kind of a more casual level and if anyone tells them hey you could be doing this better ah oh, fuck off don't tell me i could do this better yeah that's my least favorite mentality is the mentality of someone who's like doesn't want to improve past what they're doing and just wants to like skirt by because it's like this is a this is a team-based game and there's 700 <laughs> people here and you're wasting all of their time you have you have msq for that shit if you yeah exactly that. Which you still have to do dungeons, but like at least with the like, I mean, yeah. fuck. If, if you if you, I remember doing Praetorium the first time and be like, oh my god, this is so confusing and so, but yeah. so cool and blah, blah blah. And now I'm just like, oh my god, can these cutscenes be done so I can kill the three bosses and run through it? It's just you're like that. Yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. I at least I would say, um, I would imagine that it functions the same way as in WoW, but like if someone's just being an issue, you can just boot them from the group. Um, but so I feel- one of the unfortunate things with like party finder for savage content is like if one person drops a lot of times a lot of other people will just be like i don't want to wait for another person and then just leave yeah, yeah wow is the complete opposite wow no. people wait <laughs> like mm. if like if someone drops patient. in in a raid like if a dps drops or if a tank drops or if a healer yeah. drops people will just stand there and wait like yeah. people will will start throwing toys around, or they'll start dancing, or they'll just start like chat chatting it up until like, someone gets there. I feel like that stuff's like, uh, what's one game it pisses me off in? Um, I guess two two of the shooters I just kind of like rotate between playing. Uh, really annoying when your siege teammates drop out, and yeah. it's suddenly like a two v five. You're like, I there's no realistic way f- 
way for me to win this. I have to take the L. I have to quit. And then but that's you might get like put on a timeout. Win, though, is when it's two v five. It's when you normally win <laughs> yeah. because that like because that side of you comes out and you're like, I'm not fucking gonna lose this. I I would like to say that happens, but it's it is very rare. <laughs> but the um, but the other game that hurts the most when like even one person drops out is when you're playing like a uh, battle royale like Apex. Just if you lose yeah. a teammate, raid is you're dropping. Like I'm not winning this. I'm not even going to win like a fight against a squad because it's three to two and you're you're just fucked. It's it's not going to happen. What's the average wait time for DPS in a like a you know like a late game raid or something like that? Um, wow. oh, no, I'm I'm in in WoW. Oh wow. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, it depends. Um, late game. It depends on the time of when you're uh of when you're trying to get it. Now if it's when Blizzard releases the uh the AHC mounts, which is the uh head of the curve mounts, which come near the end of an X pack where like bit or bit before when the next raid launches, that it can take anywhere from like ten to fifteen minutes. It's normally shorter than that. Now, if you're doing it before that or after that, or if you're still doing a raid that you're in the item level range for, it, it's honestly, Blaine, it depends on the day that you're doing it. If you're doing it on Tuesday, which is reset day, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you most it's most likely going to take you 15 to 20, sometimes less than that. Now, if you're doing it Sunday, Monday, which is near reset, because what... So what happens is if you don't get the raid done and you stop after a, a boss, the game saves saves your progress. Mm -hmm. So when the next time you queue, say you get to a part of a raid on Saturday, then you queue again on Sunday, the game will instantly queue you in a group that is at that same boss. And it's already marked that you've killed those other bosses. But then once Tuesday hits, that thing restarts and you have to do it again. So it honestly depends on the day that you're queuing. Well, so Sunday, Sunday, yeah, Monday, like, it can. Sunday, Monday, it can take up to thirty. No, sorry, Sunday, okay. Sunday, Monday can take up to thirty. But again, you're normally not waiting that long. That is just an estimate. Okay. Like it's like um, the game literally says estimated wait time. So like it's not yeah. guaranteed. It's going to take like twenty minutes. It could take ten. It could take fifteen. So the point Sorry, it's incredibly make... complicated. No, it's it's, it's it, it is incredibly complicated. It's fine. Um Sylvia, what's the longest you've ever waited for um, something it's in Final Fantasy 14? Bit more difficult to quantify cuz then you're doing savage rating, you aren't like queuing into it. You're just going into the like the party list and going, "Okay, this person put up E12S and they have a spot open. They have a melee spot. I'll go join it." Mm -hmm. And then you're just kind of waiting for it to fill from there. Um so it's a bit more difficult to like quantify like are you waiting longer because you're a melee? Are you waiting longer because people just don't want to do the okay. fight? Yeah, I want to say I going with that, but I last done week that of it. I think I sat in a party finder for E11s the day after reset happened on Wednesday. I want to say I sat in it for maybe forty minutes, waiting for a healer. I see, yeah, because I've I've had times where like I wanted to do one of like I wanted to try one of the either either the extremes like the Ultima weapon. I was yeah. like, oh, this is like, seemed, it says it's populated, so it can't take that long. And I was literally sitting there for like an hour and a half. Yeah. Just so nothing. for hard content like that, no one queues into it. And at least in American data centers, no one queues sure. into that stuff. They all go into like the party finder and then go, hey, I want to do a party for Ultima Weapon EX. And then they gather their people up, go for Ultima Weapon EX. You wouldn't actually need a party of eight people. You'd maybe just be fine with, I mean, hell, you'd probably be fine with three people. Mm -hmm. uh you can solo that fight if you want um if you find with like wow. three people and go oh yeah okay we're good and then you queue into it um with those three people um yeah the only time that you'll see people queue into hard content is actually in um the japanese data center what people will do is they'll use party finder for learning a fight and once they learn the fight they actually queue into it and then they just queue in with randoms uh that's the only time that's actually used Okay. Very interesting uh, cultural difference there. But yeah, as far as 14 goes, um, just crossing my fingers that I can get my weapon and my chest piece uh, on Tuesday when reset happens so I can get best and saw before uh, next patch drops uh, next Tuesday.